T8, T9 myofascial release technique um, needs to first uh, be practiced with a practitioner who's been trained at instructing uh, anyone to uh, with perfect body alignment and then once someone has the chance to practice it with a practitioner then you can uh, practice it on your own and you can use this video as a review uh, I always caution people on your own just doing these stretches exposes you to potentially uh, uh, some sort of injury I'm not going to go into detail about that. Um, I highly recommend to visit an outdoor specialist and go over these exercises with them first. For the T8, T9, what you want to do, you want to place your feet hip width. You want to make sure you constantly pulsate downward from the middle of your foot into the ground. You want to make sure your knees are not falling apart. You keep them nicely aligned. The second toe, knee and the hip nicely aligned. You pulsate your lower back forward so it stays straight. Then you're going to turn and externally rotate your shoulders, extend uh, your wrists, uh, lift over top of your head. Make sure your chin is tucked in so you don't let your head fall forward like that. So chin tucked in, continuously extending the crown upward, the caustics, the tailbone downward. You want to make sure you don't hunch forward. And keeping this position, watching that you keep pulsating down with the middle of your foot into the ground, and this will achieve if you continuously practice it regularly and holding it for one minute at a time, it's going to stretch the entire myofascial structure in a way that it will allow you to allow you have have more uh, uh, mobility at the uh, T8 T9 level.